Hey there gamers all around, welcome, welcome, and chaos everyone. My playing style of this game might anger some people, just cause I have all of these pop-ups on the screen, and I've heard complaints, I've gotten complaints in the comments, it's being like, hey, there's so much, there's so many pop-ups in, in, in your screen, I can't see a, a thing. And you know what? All I have to say to that is, well, tough. Because this is how I play the game. This is my playing style. This is how I know whether or not if I'm succeeding or not. So you're just gonna have to put up with <laughs> Now, I'm not saying that to be mean. I'm saying that because I have my playing style that's very different from the general gamer's playing style. Like, an, any average player would just boom, 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 boom. This is how the average gamer plays. That's not my playing style. That's not how I play. I have to have my pop-ups on the screen to know what exa exactly it is that I'm doing, what exactly it is that I'm building, if I'm succeeding, if I'm failing. So that's why I pop up all of these. So that way I know whether or not if I'm succeeding or not, because that's how I know. This tells me how much food I have. This tells me how much citizens I have. This tells me the year, the season, what I need to, you know. And then this is the map. This is the event log. I have to... So this... This is toggle pop-up notifications of death by old age. That's not necessarily true. Because that cross happens regardless of whether or not your citizens have died of old age. Or if your citizens have... You know... This bit the dust naturally. And I did not mean to press on that. Okay, so naturally, and then I would close out my windows when I'm done. Normally, I would gradually build my citizens and my town and whatnot. But you know what? I'm going to do this a little differently. I'm going to try to change my playing style only slightly in this game. Because I'm still gonna play it the way that I play it because this is the smart way of playing you have your jobs your professions tabs right here so that way you don't have to go shirt I mean yet yeah, you don't so you don't have to do this be like oh where's my hunters where's my hunters and then you find your hunting cabin but this all might be already be too late because your citizens might have already died by then because of starvation or something you know, so instead, I have my jobs, pro pro my provisions box popped up. That's why I have so many pop-ups. I have so many pop-ups because I, I know what I need to do next. Like, I know my next move. And this is complaining, saying that this is full. In which it is, but I'll manage that in a sec. Okay, so I'm just gonna... Okay, so, and then this circle is a circle that you don't want to really develop much on because this is your your hunting cabin. This is where your gatherer's hut is. So you don't really want to develop anywhere in within those yellow lines that you see, that circle. That's what I like to call the forestry area. You know, your hunters go here to hunt. Your gatherers go here to gather. If you develop on there, then, you know, your, your deer is... I mean, you... You can still, you can still develop in there. It's just going to be harder for your gatherers to gather anything if there's no, nothing growing. That's, you know, my only logic behind. Oh, why I don't, you know, why I don't develop within that yellow line. And you see that yellow line even with the forester lodge. And yes, there is a reason why I built 
two Forester Lodges and not one. Because I've done a lot of reading on this game. I'm a big fan of this game. I love this game. Guys, doing stuff. Okay. So now this is where I get to be in kind of sort of limbo in the game because I only have one labor, so I can't really assign him too much, and I need to keep one labor. Eventually I'm going to need more than one labor, because that's how you play the game. It's simply put, how you play the game. You can reclaim it once you updated it. This is a mod version of the game. This is not the original version of the game. That's why my game is set up like this. You know, with like the food being like, oh, well, here's raw food. Instead of going down to food and seeing this. This, it's a modded version. So thank you all for tuning in to this episode. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Unleash the beast and over and out.